You're watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. President Bongbong Bong Marcos will leave for New York on Sunday, September 18. Press Secretary Trixi Cruz Angeles said President Marcos is set to attend the 77th United Nations General Assembly on September 20 and deliver a speech. He will discuss the government's pandemic recovery efforts, also issues like climate change, the rule of law, and food security. The president is likely to meet with at least six heads of state during his trip to the United States, according to Philippine Ambassador to the U.S. Jose Manuel Romualdez. Romualdez said Marcos will also probably meet with Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Malaysian Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob. The weekly COVID-19 positivity rate in the national capital region has increased to 14.5% according to Okta Research on Friday. The weekly positivity rate in the NCR rose to 14.5% as of September 14, from 12.7% as of September 7. The group said the current positivity rate may surpass the region's previous peak of 17.5%, which was recorded on August 5. Typhoon Nan Madol is forecast to enter the Philippine area of responsibility anytime today and will be locally named Josie. It will also intensify into a super typhoon within the day while enhancing the southwest monsoon or Hanging Habagat. According to Pagasa, Hanging Habagat is affecting southern Luzon, Visayas, and the western sections of Mindanao. The southwest monsoon will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over the Mimaropa provinces, Bicol region, and western Visayas. Scarlett Snow Bello finishes writing her non-fiction book. Scarlett Snow, daughter of Dr. Vicky Bello, revealed in a podcast interview that she finished writing her non-fiction book. The adorable and multi-talented Scarlett shared that she likes writing and added that it's also her favorite subject in school. The said non-fiction book she finished writing was about dogs. Meanwhile, Cardi B pleads guilty to two misdemeanors in a New York strip club fight. According to the prosecution, Grammy Award-winning rapper Cardi B pleaded guilty to two misdemeanors on Thursday in connection with a fight that occurred at a New York City strip club in 2018. The artist was also given a 15-day community service sentence. Bill Cali's announcer, popularly known as Cardi B, also consented to a three-year order of protection for the victims. She pleaded guilty to one third-degree assault charge and one second-degree reckless in endangerment charge. Authorities said that the rapper got into a confrontation with two of the club's bartenders at Queen's Angels Strip Club during the 2018 incident. One of them, she claimed, had an affair with her husband. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.